Ladies and gentlemen, last month, which was June, I was warning us, including myself, you better be ready because we're going to have Mercury retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Chiron retrograde. And then we're going to be coming off a double whacking of eclipse energy. Which we are now. And holy crap, I feel like I've been run over by a train, eaten by a coyote, and then shit off a cliff into a cactus. And somehow, I still have all my emotional feelers there. So, it is now two-thirds through July. And I don't know how you're feeling, but I technically quit being planetary defense commander last night. We'll revisit that in a week or two. Not much will change around here, except um, if the September and October hurricanes that I've been warning people about, one going to the northeast and the other going to the panhandle area by Tampa Bay of Florida, kills a bunch of people it's not my responsibility if you're with me during puerto rico i cried a lot all the time because i took those 5,000 deaths very personally and so having done this for 6.7 years and realizing that people are as addicted to hate as i am cigarettes i tried to quit yesterday i made it 23 hours stay off twitter if you're quitting smoking by the way because then you'll just realize the world is a giant cesspool where seems like nobody really cares about everybody, but yet they still talk about their big passion issues all the time, even though knowing nobody really cares about anybody. That's what it feels like. And there are those of us who care, but we are few and far between. Downer. Thor News the Downer. You know, who knows? Maybe they're not going to be successful like all the other Downer channels. They're like, we're all going to die 24-7. There's nothing you can do, man. They're direct energy weapon in your mind. And Satan is up in your butthole, punching your third eye, making you see negative visions. I'm like, what? Yeah, this freaking heat wave that's going to last the weekend ain't helping jack shit either. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing is, like we talk about, man, these are normal temperatures for the South. But a lot of people over this line don't have air conditioners so if you're dealing with 95 degree temperatures all day 100 degree temperatures all day and 90 degree temperatures into the night that's going to affect your mentality look at that look at that heat wave stretch up all the way up into canada man you got freaking volcanoes popping off like crazy here you got the major gas giants that go out in the sky Tonight, you'll see Jupiter and Saturn right next to each other. And then, if you're smart enough, you can envision the sun. And so, they're all in maybe 30% of 180 degree sky, you know? So, clearly, you can see that our solar system is being tilted towards the galactic core if you got a brain, but a lot of people don't, you know? A lot of people just take whatever other people tell them as face value. Especially if a lot enough people tell him. Another thing, as a guy who spent his whole life was like, man, I want love and romance and a wife and kids and shit. We had like 66 days of Eris, Uranus, and Mars in a straight line. Then Mars cut finally round the corner. Then we had Venus over here partying with Eris, Uranus, and Mars. And so, if you're a man, I can just say, if you're a man, this has probably not been the funnest last three years or last month or just. Because, you know, it's a binary relationship, men and women. We got to exist on this planet together. At least we did. And so, you know, we've seen everything get blamed on men all the time. And the media is like, men are allowed to have no say ever because you cause all this shit. Every single crime throughout history of mankind was caused by men. Men are garbage and women are fantastic. Women are like Jesus. So right now we got Trump. He's like Jesus. Never makes a mistake. Women, they're like Jesus. They never make a mistake. So if you're not a woman, and you're not Trump, or you're not Jesus Christ, 
I would get dare to say that the last year, last three years, may not have been the most fun ever. Definitely the last few months. Anyway, so, Venus has come around the corner. I don't know, Earth and Venus are disconnect forever. So, I don't know, dude, it's just like crappy times all the time. But what do you expect if everybody talks about politics all the time? Like, no matter what, even if I go out onto the internet and I'm talking about sheet cake, like, man, I want to make a decent sheet cake. You know, soon I got somebody going, Trump is a devil or Obama caused all this shit. I'm like, shut up, motherfucker. I'm just trying to talk about sheet cake and frosting. So, yeah. And so I plan to be here with you during hurricane season. But I got to tell you, whenever something negative happens in Taylor Swift's life, she always freaking takes it out on me for at least the last, since December 4th, 2017. That's just how it is. I don't know why it's like that. I have prayed to Archangel Michael. I have prayed to Jesus Christ. I have prayed to, prayed to God a hundred times saying, what did I do to deserve this? What the hell, man? And so now yesterday, the Cats trailer came out. I'm guessing it didn't have the desired effect that she wanted. And so, if you want to save Thor News, for August, the very, very best way to do it is to send me a snail mail at T. Lewis in 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston 77096. You can try the PayPal, but Taylor owns her own digital security company. She's hung out with, like, Jucifer, the guy who hacked the whole Democratic convention um, and then handed all that shit to the Republicans. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of my stuff goes to her, like, most donations go to her, unless she's in happy with me, but that's like 1% of the freaking time. I don't know, the world is weird these days, man. But you know, part of the course for the modern truth community, I've already done all the work, I've showed you that the September hurricane around the 15th to the 23rd is going to come somewhere up here, although there is a chance that one could curve out, so let's say our prayers, Asteroid Fight Club still in full effect. And then the October one's going to hit right in here. Whack. Probably Cat 3 to Cat 5. That's my guess. Could be wrong on categories. But, you know, I've done all the work. And so, as the truth community usually does, is people can just steal my work and take credit for it. And everybody's like, that's fine. Especially if they align the same political parties. They don't give a fuck what laws you break or who you steal from or what you do. As long as it's supporting what you believe in. America, what the fuck have we become? So, uh, yeah, the energy's crazy, and I've, I don't know, I just don't, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, although my karma is fantastic, it's like, things just feel yucky. Yucky, all the time. Like, I kind of feel sort of hopeless for everything, and that is not a good place to be. It's like I said, if you want to go to a channel on YouTube, it's going to tell you we don't have hope and things are going to be shitty and we have no say and we don't control our future. That's like every other YouTube channel on YouTube. I'm like the last guy who's like, hey dudes, optimism. But as I have mentioned before, I am a Sagittarius and man, I'm a Sagittarius Capricorn. So it's like the universe has just been kicking the shit out of us nonstop since like 2016. I was joking the other day, Sagittarius should have a carbon monoxide dance party. You know, because like, if the universe is just going to keep ramming bamboo shoots in our dick holes, then I don't want to stick around for this shit. Sure as fuck don't want to be homeless in 106 degree temperatures. Anyway, so this is just my crappy video telling you that the energy is kind of crappy. You may be having a great time in life right now, and hey... That's great. I don't want anyone else to not be happy. I'm just saying, I don't think the world is really great right now. I don't think society is really great right now. And hey, look, there's your mini ice age up there in the top of Alaska. Whereas the rest of Earth is going through like a, oh my God, it's so hot heat wave. And remember, it is only the middle of July. Like It's going to be so freaking hot in August. I bet we're going to see 120 degree temperatures 
definitely heat indices in some very strange places next year. Not next year, next month. Mercury retrograde, I can barely talk. And so who knows, man. I think I'm just going to make like a million videos today and tomorrow because if I want to earn a living at this, you know, other than contributions, and it doesn't seem like... I know a lot of wealthy people watch my channel. I know a lot do. They don't ever really seem to donate, man. But I guess that's how they get wealthy and stay wealthy is by hoarding all the money and all the stuff. And that's another problem in, in the world. And I think no fans have tried not to talk about politics, but I think technically Republicans always want to be billionaires and millionaires. And so that's why they're always like so in love with whatever the hell millionaires and billionaires do. But I just think we're getting railroaded, man, by the richest people on the planet. And so they've, they have like 90% of all the stuff, maybe like less than 1% of the people have 90% of all the stuff, ownership of the land, all the golds, all the cryptos. And so here we are, anybody under a billion dollars is fighting for the scraps that fall off the table that their fancy little puppy doesn't want to eat. And we're okay with that. And some people are saying it's great. Like, yeah, dude, this is not maximum optimal society. Look how hot this water is. You see that, the misery index? Like, that is some hot freaking water, dude. And so people, like, you know, of course, that's another thing. I've gotten, like, know, hundreds of thousands of comments over the years. And just the people that yell at you are like, they can never get a hurricane or category strength up in there. Never happen. Well, dude, you got volcanoes up here. And now the water is boiling hot, so... I don't, I don't want a hurricane ever again, but all my guesstimations and estimations say we got one coming September, middle of September, right around here, and then we got one coming in here. And sure, I got the category wrong for Barry, but we had an all-star lineup of some of the greatest singers and musicians on planet Earth. I can't give you their names. But... And they performed one of the greatest shows, and we tried to kick it out. Of, I tried to kick it off the planet, but apparently everybody else working on Texas. And so look at that. Did we move the hurricane with our hearts and our minds and keep it totally out of Texas? Maybe. It sure as hell didn't hurt. You know what does hurt? Me telling jokes about the movie Cats. No, it doesn't hurt me now, but I'm pretty sure it will in the near future. Doesn't matter what I say. It seems like I'm getting aggro and hot pokers in the butt out of that region anyway. Yeah, who would have guessed it? The duel of the ages is going to be cats versus showgirls. Man, I hope I'm alive to see it. You know? Anyway, love you guys. This is your grumpy update. You know what would make the cats trailer much better? Fart noises. My editing program doesn't work anymore. Two days after I paid for it, it broke. I know I can call Adobe and get on the phone with them, but I just don't have the mental strength. Every day, every day it's a fucking fight. I'm fighting somebody, something like, I'm just trying to put out good information. Anyway, so, everybody stay cool or don't. You know, like I've been saying that shit for 6.7 years. Especially when you have a giant mega heat wave. Beth Carpenter at 6 p.m. Eastern this evening, this was yesterday, heat indices across the region are still at 100 and 110. And so, in this McDLT Earth. That's all I'm saying is we need to adapt to this together and change it all with our hearts and our minds. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, man. And the funny thing was is I had literally now nah, I won't tell you the story. But I'm just saying, she had a choice between four Thor movies tailored for her or cats. She's like, cats, bitches. And, you know, like I said, sometimes really rich people make dumbass decisions. People who've never had a, who've always been surrounded by yes men, sometimes make really bad, bad decisions. You know what I'm saying? And so that's been like, one whole staple of Thor news that like, yeah, dude. So the people who have the most money on the planet, they're not always the smartest. They don't always make the best calls. 
Oh, and if I blocked you on Twitter yesterday, I just I blocked like two hundred fucking people when I quit being Planetary Defense Commander. Um, just because, you know, although the new Top Gun trailer is pretty awesome, I liked it. But you know, our men allowed to like shit anymore. I don't even fucking know, man. It's sweltering heat, causing everybody to be crazy. Everything's freaking retrograde. And the world's turning into a giant fucking angry shit show. And then you got like 12% of the people who the media's making it look like are 50% of the people going, everything's greater than ever. And you, yeah, I love you. It's a weird time, man. Weird fucking time. 